is going on everyone this is your yankee hardcore pipe bomb messiah here with you and of course uh this week we will not have a live edition of the yankee offseason podcast um just really is kind of a slow time for our yankee baseball talk but um i will say this and i will share a couple of news bits that i've gotten over the past several days um but Really, the topic of discussion here, I want to get into this whole Blake Snell news because um, we all know that the Yankees signed Marcus Stroman last week, and now their payroll for 2024 is already north of $300 million. Um, Let me just say, I'm not excited by it. The Yankees still need improvements to move past the disaster that happened last season because... Strowman wasn't enough, but is Blake Snell enough? Well, I want to get into some of the news bits here. Um, My source sent me this last night. For those clamoring for another Yankees move, something is coming soon. Guaranteed. The Yankees still need to add righties Marcus Strowman and Luke Reaver to their roster. And as of, I will say right now, the 40-man roster is full. One option is to make a trade. Either trade some value. Uh, Everson Pereira, Oswald Peraza, etc. To get a starting pitcher in return or move an expandable piece for prospects cash. It's possible the bigger names could be dealt as a way to cut costs too. As the club's payroll, as we mentioned... And alternatively, I can see the Yankees simply cutting pieces like Ababa Thompson, Jeter Downs, or Oscar Gonzalez, for instance. So, the Yankees seem to think that it is. And the multiple sources reported that an offer was made to Snell last week, but MLB trade rumors say details are still known but si.com speculates on the terms i think the yankees know the odds of getting jordan montgomery are slim to none so snell that's your next guy that you have to get and i know that there's a lot of there are teams out there that are interested in him but you got to love the feeling of settling. But the Yankees, what they did was they caused this mess with Montgomery when Brian Cashman opened his mouth and inserted uh, his foot. So now um, I'll get into the details. Um, Blake Snell, he wants a contract. Of at least 240 million and now awaits to see what team blinks first um the yankees made an introductory offer for nearly 100 million less which was uh quickly dismissed before they turned to marcus stroman to fill their vacancy with a two-year 37 million dollar deal and i believe that the idea of waiting to see who blinks first is valid. Uh, unofficial word is that the Yankees and Scott Boris are far apart in their negotiations, which I'm not surprised. But the Blue Jays, and I did talk about a couple of the teams are in favor to get Blake Snell. One of those teams is the Toronto Blue Jays. Because the Toronto Blue Jays, they're looking to upgrade their rotation as well. So, it really could be a matter of who blinks first. And it might be a team that's not even mentioned. But I will say this. If this offer was around $140 million, it's typical Brian Cashman. It's the fact that Brian Cashman and this front office loves to play the cheap game. They are cheap. 
There's no denying about it. You people, you Brian Cashman cult followers out there, you Brian Cashman dick riders, you Brian Cashman zombies, Muppets, you want to defend the guy like he's the second coming of Jesus Christ. And he's not. And you know what? And this is coming from a guy that's not a huge Blake, uh, Blake Snell fan. I am not huge on him. But even I know that offer for a guy who won the Cy Young two times, that's not going to get the deal done. This is a guy that's going to get more, but you know the Yankees. They're not going to do shit because they still have a lot to do this winter. And I'm just losing faith that the right moves will actually be made. The Yankees brass just doesn't have what it takes anymore to build a winning team or continue the prestige, the honor, and the legacy of the New York Yankees. That's why this is very important. This 2024 has to be very important for this channel, for the MIGA movement, for the revolution. Because we want to continue to build on the revolution and really to put pressure on making changes with this organization. That's why we showed up late September. All of the MIGA supporters, the Make Yankees Great Again movement, we need to continue to put the pressure on Brian Cashman and Hal Steinbrenner. Other news that I do want to get into, and we all know, and speaking of pitches, we know that spring training is less than a month away. Pitchers and catchers report to spring training February 14th, Valentine's Day. Yankees, they're still looking for a bullpen upgrade. And as reported last week, they're in the run-ins for a <clears throat> righty in Hector uh, Nares. Ten-year vet who had a standout season with the Houston Astros and it's going to come down to who's going to make the best offer. Um, MLB trade rumors, uh, they predict that he will get a two-year, uh, $15 million deal. And um, there's possibilities that Gio Yashella might be coming back. We've talked about that um, in the past here. Um, so we'll see about what happens, but please subscribe to this channel we want to keep continuing to build this revolution this movement and if there's any more yankee news that comes out this week i will come on here and talk about it until then this is my last video of the night have a good night i'll be back tomorrow with more videos peace